Welcome back to Pseudo Sergeant. In this segment, I'm going to talk with you about account management. I'll show you how to create accounts, modify accounts, and remove accounts. And we're not talking accounting with like numbers and stuff. We're talking about user profiles and things like that. Now, let's get to the terminal. First, let's take a look at all the accounts that are on the machine. Back in my favorite terminal here, console, I'm going to do um, cat forward slash etc forward slash passwd. That is the file that uh, has a list of all of the accounts that are on the system. Now you see it spits out all this information. Each one of these lines, root, bin, daemon, mail, FTP, all the way down to sergeant, GDM, light DM, each one of those it represents an account. So let's take root for example. So root, that's the name. Right here, forward slash root, that is the home directory for root. And then forward slash bin bash, that is the shell for that particular account. And now look at these other accounts like mail, for example. You'll see user bin no login. That means that this account is never going to be logged in. It's just a system account. Anywhere where there's no login or um, false, those are system accounts. So other general user accounts like sergeant or technician here, you'll see that they're in the home and technician, that's where the home directory is, and then it's forward slash bin bash, and then same with sergeant, home sergeant, and then forward slash bin bash. Okay, now that we uh, can see all the accounts that we have in there, let's say we need to add an account for uh, our aunt or something. So I'm going to sudo user add dash m space, okay, so login space dash s uh, forward slash bin forward slash bash. Oh, you know, there's something I forgot here. I want to add dash G for additional groups. We'll let's put this uh, potato head in um, sudo. Let's give, let's give potato head sudo privileges. S-U-D-O, and a shell. And then after that, uh, let's give it a username. Potato head, P-O-T-A-T-O-H-E-A-D, potato head. Let's enter, okay. So now let's look at our um, accounts again. So cat forward slash etc forward slash pass. WD. There we go. Look, now we have Potato Head, and there's Potato Head's home, and here is Potato Head's shell. So let's try and log into to our new account, Potato Head. So we'll do SU for switch user into Potato Head. P O T A T O H E A D. Potato Head. Password. Wait, we didn't set up a password for Potato Head. Uh oh, we can't log in. Authentication failure. We need to set up a password before someone can log in. Let's do that with uh, password. So we'll do sudo. We need privileges for this. P A S S W D. Potato head. P O T A T O H E A D. What should Potato Head's password be? I'm not going to tell you. So it asks us for the new password and it asks us to retype the new password just to confirm that it's accurate. And then it says password updated successfully. Now, SU for switch user into Potato Head. Okay, now we have a password. All right, now we're logged in as Potato Head. See here, we were logged in as technician. Now we are logged in as Potato Head. All right, let's see where we are. PWD for print working directory. We're still into uh, technician. Oh, so how about we do C space uh, there. No, PWD. Look, we're in Potato Head. All right, so we've created a new account named Potato Head, and we've given it a password, um, given it pseudo privileges, and um, created a login shell and home directory. So let's say we're the system administrator, and we let's get a list of what accounts there are on our, our system here. So uh, cat forward slash etc forward slash pass wd passwd and we're going to see potato head down here at the bottom let me highlight it here's potato head and there's potato head's home directory now we're going to change that so we'll do ls space forward slash home now we see in our home directory we have potato head sergeant and technician now we're going to change potato head's home directory so the instruction that we provide is sudo user mod user mod space dash d and then we provide a new directory and we want that to be home forward slash potato let's just make it potato and then we need dash m for the account that we want to change is potato head p-o-t-a-t-o-h-e-a-d potato head all right so now let's look at past the bd um, so cat forward slash etc yes, wd now here before where it was potato head it should be potato now let's see yep see now it is home home slash potato so we've just changed the home directory for this account great all right next i'm going to show you how to change the shell for the account so let's say 
you have bash installed and that's the, the shell for the account and you want to try, for example, ZSH. So we'll do sudo user mod space dash s forward slash and then we'll put the shell forward slash bin forward slash so ZSH and then dash P-O-T-A-T-O-H-E-A-D, potato head. So we just changed the shell for potato head. Let's have a, a look at the uh, past WD. So cat forward slash ETC past WD. Look, now it's ZSH. So next, how about we change potato head's account name? All right, so in order to change the account name, we're gonna do, uh, well, I guess we'll have to sudo, sudo user mod base dash L, I believe it is, um, potato. No, bucket, we're gonna call him bucket head. And the old name is potato head. So what I just did was change the account named potato head into bucket head with sudo user mod space dash L and then the new name bucket head followed by the old name potato head. Now let's look at the password file. Cat etc password. Look at that, bucket head. Hey, now let's add a system account. Um, in order to do that, we're gonna use the we're gonna need the user add instruction again. Sudo, make sure we type user add this time. User add space dash r space dash s forward slash um, user usr forward slash no login, right? Yep. And then the account name, which is going to be banana brains. Let me put a hyphen there. Let's see if this works. Okay, now let's look at the password uh, .d file. Now we see our account here, Banana Brains, which is our system account. Now an example of where people would want to do this, if there was some kind of background daemon running that needed a user or something, they would assign this to it in the group. That's a whole nother issue, a whole nother thing to deal with. And also, um, I haven't gone into any explanation of what these uh, numbers right here mean and why they're there and what they're for. That's a whole nother issue as well. We're not gonna get into that. Now that uh, we have this account we know we don't want, let's, uh, let's get rid of it. We need a sudo user del user delete so user del space dash r and then banana brains b a n a n a dash brains banana brains mail spool oh that wasn't even there anyway then banana brains home directory wasn't didn't even exist anyway okay so it's gone so now let's uh, cat the past wd file to see what users are currently on the system forward slash cat space forward slash um etc forward slash passwd look at that banana brains is gone okay that was a very fulfilling exercise so to recap in this segment i've shown you how to create accounts modify the accounts and remove accounts if you have any tips comments or questions please visit the element 14 community at element14.com forward slash pseudosargent